everyone and welcome to Auntie Audrey's story time. Today we're going to talk about fear. What if I'm not good enough? What if I'm not fast enough? What if no one likes me? Well, we all have these fears sometimes. And what this book calls it is the what if monster. Today we're going to talk about the what if monster and how we can fight him. And then everything can kind of end up amazing. Okay, let's get started. The What If Monster. Some what if monsters like to hang out and fill our heads with worry and doubt. They are sneaky and quiet and quick as a blink. The words that they whisper can change how we think. Jonathan James heard those words full of dread and all of those what ifs got stuck in his head. What if you tumble? What if there's wind? What if you slip and you need knee gets all skinned. What if they giggle? What if it's chilly? What if you jump and you look really silly? What if it's hard? What if you're bad? What if they laugh and that makes you feel sad? What if it's ugly? What if it stinks? What if that's what everyone thinks? What if it's yucky? What if it's icky? What if mom yells because you're too picky? What if it's dark? What if it's scary? What if there's something giant and hairy? What if you lose? What if you're last? What if you're slow and you'll never get fast? See, other people have some what if monsters of their own. What if she laughs? What if she runs? What if she thinks you're not any fun? Now wait just a minute. I have something to say. After hearing what ifs all through the day, I hear all your worries. I hear all your claims. But what if you're wrong? Asked Jonathan James. What if I climb to the top of that tree and I never slip or skin up my knee? And what if I jump right into that pool and everyone thinks I look really cool? And what if baseball is nothing but fun and I end up hitting a triple home run? And what if my drawing goes up on the wall and everyone thinks it's the best one of all? And what if if I taste some of that food and it puts my mouth in a really good mood? And what if I run in a really big race and I have a great time no matter the place? And what if I sleep and I have the best dreams that monsters are sweeter than they all seem? And what if the chance I take in the end is just how I find my very best friend? Hooray! Now isn't that a great story? Whoopsies! Oops, hi again. So what I want you guys to do is talk to your family about your fears. 
See if you can fight your what-if monsters together. Okay? See you next time!